Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out as that does truly help my channel and everybody else that needs to see the messages because it circulates the video. Also, I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It's definitely not going to completely resonate for everybody. However, it will completely resonate for some of you or seems to do so. Take what does resonate. That's yours. Leave the rest behind. Also, be aware you can check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Uh, this is a reading where spirit... <laughs> Spirit's message to you is just surrender because whatever is about to change or is changing in your life right now, it's inevitable. You can't stop this. This is something that was meant to be, it needs to be, and it's going to be is what Spirit is saying, okay? So in this reading, we're going to find out just exactly what that is, what's changing, and where you need to surrender and i'm sure you'll know because whatever it is it's a change in your life okay so we're going to start off by getting a soul's journey card for you and a motivation manifesto card oh gemini doubt i release the need to know all the answers <laughs> Oh, spirit. I feel like some of you, maybe a lot of you have self-doubt here, but you're also doubting the forward movement. You're doubting the path and spirit wants you to surrender. This is what you're surrendering, the doubt. You just need to trust and have faith and let this move forward the way spirit's trying to move it forward. If I get this card one more time, I'm going to scream. This was Taurus, Scorpio, and now you. And you saw me shuffle. I won't let others stoke fear in my heart. I choose to remain true to who I am and where my dreams direct me, no matter the hardship I might incur. You know, this is... This is why you're needing to surrender because some of you have others that don't agree with the path that you want to get on and move forward with um, some of you have doubt about the path that you're moving forward on because it's hard there's there's uh, it's not that it's hard um i don't know how to i'm trying to figure out how to put this for you how to translate it it's, um, there might appear to be obstacles. There might appear to be difficulty on this path. But it's taking you to your dreams. It's, it's, it might just be stepping, a stepping stone or stepping stones to get you to your dreams, okay? And, you know, sometimes we're, we're guided in a direction that doesn't look like a direction we really want to go in. But sometimes the divine guidance shows up in overalls and looks like work. It's not always going to be that piece of cake path, if you know what I mean. And I feel like this is one of those times for you too. This is crazy. How many times this card has come out? It's been self-worth, self-doubt, um... A need to accept what is so again it's it's courage it's it's doubt and it's worth self-worth and sometimes that is because of others telling you what they think you should do you've got to listen to your inner guidance system at this point Gemini so now we're gonna get four light seers cards for further guidance for you further information i want to point out that if you click on the title of this video my description box will drop down and there you'll find the listing of all the decks that i'm using in this reading as well as the link to the extended for this reading okay 
First card out, you have the Two of Pentacles. Some of you feel like everything's up in the air. You have no clue what's happening, what direction you're going in, where it's taking you. Four of Swords. The Four of Swords obviously comes after the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, that's all about heartache and heartbreak. The Four of Swords is all about the growth and the healing that comes after that heartbreak. You can't grow without pain. There's always pain with growth. This is about taking a break, taking a step back. Yeah. Taking a break from the overthinking, the overanalyzing. Becoming paralyzed by fear and doubt. That's why we get up in our heads this way. And we overthink and, and it just it goes round and round and round. It's because we have doubt. We either have fear or we have doubt about the direction we're moving in. And so we start to overthink it. Death and rebirth. This is all about something coming to an end. Possibly the doubt. Bringing that to an end so that you can move forward with this rebirth. Knowing that this is the right path. That this is the direction you're supposed to go in. I feel confusion here too. So now we're going to get the bottom of the deck for overall energy around this row here. Yeah, you got way too many people talking to you. Telling you what to do, where to go, how to do it. The Five of Swords is, um, in this deck anyways, the message I'm getting here is you got this guy over here hollering at you, yelling and screaming. You got this bird squawking in your ear. These birds likely as they fly by, they're squawking at you, you're getting a headache. It's like, God, can you please just stop now? I just want this to stop. This could be where the doubt comes from. It could be why you're overthinking because there's way too many people involved in this. This is self-sabotage as well. Taking the steps necessary to win the battle, but when we do that, we, we lose the war. This is all about you know that old saying, cutting off your nose to spite your face? How does that get you anywhere good? It doesn't. The doubt is sabotaging your, your growth and your healing and your forward movement. Okay, now we're going to get Gaia Oracle. Okay, card number one. It's about new beginnings. Tree of life. Fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. You just don't see them yet, that's all. And this sits on top, the two of pentacles and the four of swords. This is why you feel up in the air. Anytime we go through any kind of spiritual, soulful growth and transformation. It creates confusion. It creates this, this place of um, uncertainty because everything's changing within you. Just surrender. Loss. Card number 20, which breaks down to a two, which is all about duality, partnership, and it's grief, sadness, and resurrection. 
So for some of you, it could be a relationship that's come to an end. It could be that you've lost somebody. Somebody passed over. And you find yourself in this place of grief and sadness. But there is a resurrection here. And this sits on top of the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is about your growth and your healing. And it's really messing with your head. That's why Spirit is saying, just surrender. Just surrender. This change is taking place no matter what. So just surrender. Move with the energy. Don't try and block it. Don't try and stop it. Attachment, card number eight. This is all about abundance. Letting go, restriction, and fear. Yeah, this is where you're at. And this sits on top the Nine of Swords and the Death and Rebirth card. You are going through a huge transformation right now, Gemini. So much so that it is seriously messing with your head. Look at, you've got these two cards. Both of them say the same thing. This is messing with your head in a big way. S Spirit is saying, let go of the attachment to any specific outcomes because that is what's pulling you under. You gotta let go, surrender. It's creating a restriction and a resistance here. But your fear is part of the problem. Your fear because of, fear is, is based on your, your doubt as far as your direction. Okay, we're going to get self-healing or heal yourself. I can't remember. What is it? Yeah, it's heal yourself, this deck. love card number 24 which breaks down to a six which is all about love six is all about love get yourself back to a place of loving you when you do when you have self-love you have self-worth self-respect self-esteem, self-confidence. And when you have all of those, you don't fear so much and you definitely don't doubt. And this is on the Tree of Life and the Lost card. So it's possible that what you're losing here is an old way of, of being and thinking where you didn't have self-love. And you would suffer the losses Selling out. You don't want to do this. Card number one. It's all about new beginnings. Don't sell out. Keep moving forward. But surrender. Just surrender. It's all going to work out the way it's meant to. It absolutely is. Selling out is not moving towards your dreams and your passions and your, your life's purpose because others want you to go in a different direction. That's selling out. Spirit is asking you not to do that. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. This, I believe for you, is all about having to make a decision in, in direction. You have many options. You are being guided in one particular direction, but maybe it doesn't look like anything that you'd want to go toward 
but trust. When you're divinely guided, trust. They're not going to steer you. Spirit is not going to steer you in the wrong way, in the wrong direction. Ever. Spirit is only ever trying to take you someplace better. So now we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card. Oh boy, double time. This could be part of your problem too. Um, when I created this deck, I'd been seeing a bunch of different numbers quite frequently, and I wanted to know what they meant, so I asked. And whatever Spirit told me is what I put on these cards. 1122, if you're seeing that or have been seeing it or you start seeing it, it means the energy is speeding up and things are moving at twice the speed. Double time. You're going to feel it. I believe you're going to feel it and sense the energy moving twice as fast as it has been. Right? so close. Persevere. I know right now you're in this place of overthinking this, probably panicking, um, confused, wondering if you are in the, you know, on path and moving in the right direction. If you aren't, what do I do now? Chill out. Just chill out. Try to settle things down. Meditate. Go for long walks in nature. Just really try to settle down your, your mind. Control those thoughts. Stop them. Think about something pleasant. Feel something pleasant. I know that's easier said than done, but to get out of the situation, you're going to have to take control over your thoughts and your feelings. Otherwise, you just keep getting pulled under further and further and further, right? Okay, now we're going to get a Whispers of Love card. just say card number nine nines are all about things coming to a completion it's time to wrap things up tie up loose ends get ready for an ending because you've got a new beginning coming in okay this card is slow down pause and allow things to unfold surrender just be in that allowing mode right Okay, now we're going to get a Shaman's Dream Oracle card for you. Okay, I don't take... Um, sometimes I do, but that was too many cards. But I don't, I prefer not to take them. But if one flips out, then I know it's for us. But I only get one card here. And that was two. Ooh. This is interesting. Card number 43. Now this breaks down to a seven, which is divinity. It, that's a very divine number. Interesting. The card is overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. And I feel like you are very, very overwhelmed at this point in time. So we are going to read this from the book.
Okay, card number 43. And it says, so many good things are headed your way or are already occurring in your life right now. Yet you may be thinking that they're not possible or you're not worthy of them. Oh my goodness. Doubt. <laughs> oh, this is way, I can't, I cannot make this up. Abundance is everyone's natural state before we project our restrictions on it. And where did you have the restriction card? Up here. Right? The attachment card. Like I said, I can't make this stuff up. Spirit is amazing. Defining what it means, who has it, who gets it, and so forth. Right now, take yourself out of your conditioning and look at your life through the eyes of plenty. There is so much beauty and love. Excuse me. Opportunities and divine synchronicities destined to support your dreams abound and are lined up waiting for you. Yet it's sometimes difficult to discern it all because you're bombarded with too much information and stimulation, distracting you from the truth that all is well. This could be people. <coughs> shh, shh. Okay. Sometimes all this overflow can be overwhelming and you may find yourself responding with empathy overload. Empathy overload occurs when you tune into the collective angst and fear about impending changes and uncertainties. Hmm. It's unmanageable. You feel like you're drowning in those emotions. Yes, you do. It's time to allow yourself to detach. Bring yourself back to your life, your life. Restore your faith in a power greater than you and remind yourself to focus on your smaller personal universe, which is much easier to manage. In this way, you know that you are a conduit for life's blessings and can share them with others, making this perception of overflow profoundly positive. Oh my goodness. What an amazing card for you. And it, it couldn't be a more perfect card for this reading. Surrender. <laughs> Just surrender. It'd be so much easier. And let go of attachments to specific outcomes. Because that'll take you out at the knees every time. Absolutely every time. Whew. Okay. So I want to ask your guides and spirit what you can do to remove yourself from this, to, to get to that place of positivity from this place of fear, doubt, uncertainty. We're going to do that in the extended. So like I said, click on the title of this video. It'll drop down the, the description box. The extended link is there as long as long, along with the list of decks that I'm using here, okay? So those of you that are going over to the extended, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>